So in many ways we had two different uh, needs to be addressed. First of all, the specific needs of a child care center. We had to design in the flexibility, not knowing for sure what the, the later use might be. The building could end up being used by someone as a laboratory, as a classroom, as an office building. So there's certain base accommodations that need to be planned for any use. It was always thought of as a very permanent building. And I think that that's a concept that maybe doesn't often get understood by people. They might think of a modular building as a temporary building. I think it's better to think of it as a, a permanent building that's relocatable. In that uh, phrase, re reduce, reuse, recycle, I've always been tempted to add relocate. The long-term major contribution of modular construction is the ability to take a building and move it to a new location and have a continued use. But that also means that the buildings have to be flexible because technology, especially in the sustainability area, is transforming so rapidly. So that was a big uh, focus of this building, is to make it ready for solar energy arrays on, on the roof and wind energy production. Here at Harvard, the building will be here for 18 months. But what I really appreciated about working with Triumph was from the beginning, they understood it as a long-term valuable building that they will continue to use. One of the places where the, the sustainability investment goes the furthest is by making sure that it has good insulation and good heating and cooling systems. But there are other ways to make a building energy efficient. One is to cut down on the use of electric lighting in a building. So the, the sun tunnels or the skylights that are allowing sun to come in at different times of the day, that's a very important part of the strategy of reducing electricity consumption in the building. How do you get the highest quality of construction within a limited building budget. We were always looking for ways to achieve energy efficiency without using extremely expensive or exotic materials. Understanding that it has to fit someone's budget, but that doesn't mean it has to be a compromise. It means it has to be carefully planned to make the most out of the expenditures that are being made.